Okay, I'm going to give you an example. Well, not really an example, but I'm going to explain uh, assignment operators, and then we'll move on. Okay. It's quite a lot to cover here. Um, for you that might not have an idea of what these mean, I'm just going to explain what they are. Just write them all out first, and I'll label them for you. Okay, that one here. Da -da. I'm going to put my divide. Oh. And lastly, the modulus, like we did. Okay. I'm going to give you an example of what that, how that works. A equals B. That actually does not mean A equals B, because uh, people might get confused. We use the equal symbol to assign, okay? Or you can actually say A is equivalent. A equivalent. to B. Okay? So A is equivalent to B. If we wanted uh, equality, we put double um, equal symbol and we'll put something like A equal equals to B. And that will basically say um, A is equal to B. 100%, yeah? So it's 100% equals to B. So for for that to happen, A and B must be exactly the same value, not an equivalent value, but exactly. You know, if it A is one, B has to be one. If A is two, B is two. Okay. Now, what does that do? The next one here. So if we put A plus equals to B, what actually happens? It it basically means A equals A plus B. That's what that means here. Um, you can guess the rest. A minus equals to B. So that means A equals A minus minus B. And likewise, the same thing again. As you can probably guess, A multiplies equals to B means A equals A multiplies B. Again, same thing. If we've done that, if you see that anywhere, it means A equals A divides B. And modulus uh, it basically means the same thing again. Equals B, which is just give you a, make it more clear for you. Okay. So these are the examples here on that side, and that's what it it means basically. Okay, so that mean a equals a modulus b. Very straightforward. I'm not going to do an example. I'm going to move on to comparison operators, and I kind of mentioned that uh, in the previous um, example, uh, well lesson. and uh, I actually mentioned one of them up there and that's that one there, quality okay that's a comparison operator so in the comparison op operator we have inequality we have total equality we have greater than we have less than okay we have greater or equal to and likewise less than or equal to less than or equal to okay and of course we have the conditional operators um, where you know we've done um, a, a fair, like an if example and so on so if it equals such and such then do something so we'll do a quick example of the comparison operators 
and then we'll move on to um, statements. I've written the skeleton of the program. So we've got the, the include at the top, stdio, main, we open up the braces again and now we're just defining the the variables we're going to have a b and c okay so a 0 b equals 0 c equals 1 and we're going to define the, uh, also character variables equals a capital and e equals a small okay now we're just going to write the equality examples and equality inequality examples greater than less than so we're going to do all the comparison operators I'll type it up very quickly here so we've done the e equality and equality in here and um, we're saying is a equal to b well a is 0 and b is 0 so it's true yes they are equal to each other they're identical and again is D equal to E D is A capital and E is A small no they're not equal to each other because that's completely different inequality we're saying that is A not equal to C well A is 0 and C is 1 so that will give us a value true and that's why I've written here true okay so it, it would return an, an integer value here if it's a one it means true if it's a zero like we've seen before it means false okay we're gonna carry on now and we're gonna go on to greater than less than and so on okay so I've done all that now done all the examples now and uh, we've got the equality examples like I discussed the inequality greater than example there and uh, less than example less than or equal to example there and finally less than or equal to so greater than or equal to and less than than equal to example and we're just going to see the result okay I've saved it click save now we'll compile no errors and finally we build so building is okay it's done that we we'll go to the prompt we call this compare me and basically it says the equality example is a equal to b a and b is both are both zero so the answer is true is d equal to e d is a capital and e small like I said so it would turn a false which is correct so it returns the value 0 which is false inequality is a not equal to c well is 0 not equal to 1 yes it, it, it is it's not equal to each other so that's true and greater than example is a greater than c is 0 greater than 1 no it's not is a less than c yes it is because 0 is less than 1 uh, greater than or equal to example is a greater than or equal to b is zero greater than or equal to zero yes it is it's the same so it's true less than or equal to example here we said is c less than or equal to a is one less than or equal to zero no it's not so it's false so that's that example out of the way